Migrant crisis is engulfing the United Kingdom, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Apparently that's not just me saying that, but our current British Home Secretary, Suella Braverman. She announced this in the House of Commons recently and of course it got a mixed reaction. But as we point out in this report, it's always a dual-sided story. Those that apparently want to welcome them in are all very welcoming as long as it's not too near them. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. That is the big breaking news story coming out of London today. Yes, our brand new uh, Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, is going through a really tough time, but she's also incredibly popular with the mainstream voters because she's saying exactly what the voter wants to hear and more importantly, say. But now, as we've seen over the last few weeks, we've now reached epic proportions of daily migrants, illegal immigrants coming into the United Kingdom and then being housed in very expensive hotels and of course hostels, all awaiting apparently to receive asylum. Asylum from, we're not quite sure where, but that's where it becomes really interesting. Now, for Suella Braverman, who's spoken out and really did shock people in the House of Commons by her statement saying, it's totally out of control, we need to do something now or else we're going to be engulfed. She was speaking for the masses. But it's interesting, isn't it? Because those against her are then saying that she's uncaring, unkind, you know, not showing Christianity, all of that sort of thing. But it's also those people that seemingly don't want them near them, if you get the picture. A local MP up in Hull, in, in the East Riding of Yorkshire, David Davis, really made a name for himself, if you recall, earlier this year by announcing, well, in the House of Commons, to the then British Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Boris Johnson, for the love of God, resign. Oh yes, he got some headlines, he got some televisual spots, and people finally knew who Mr Davis was. Now, as I say, he's the local MP for Hull in the East Riding of Yorkshire. But guess what? He put in a basic claim that he didn't want a local hotel to be used as a hostel holding ground for migrants up in Hull. That's right, could make it up, could you? And then of course we have all the other celebrities and MPs like the Labour deputy Yvette Cooper holding a sign here saying refugees welcome. But so far, not quite sure if the welcome in her home. What about the superstar Hollywood actor Benedict Cumberbatch? Do you remember him? He hoped to welcome in Ukrainian refugees. So far, no word, even though he has three houses. The British football pundit, the highest paid person on BBC television, Gary Lineker. Again, all anti-supporting the fact that we should be more welcoming. Hmm, what's he done? You do really get the picture, don't you? So the problem over here, as I say, is that while people are attacking the Home Secretary, at least she's basically stating the fact that this is a major crisis and one that she will be sorting out, hopefully, for the British public. Moving forward as we speak, well, we're all going through a terrible cost of living crisis, businesses closing down and people genuinely like army veterans and, you know, basically homeless people who have lost their homes through no fault of their own, just simple facts of life. Where are they being catered for first before we welcome in even more that we simply don't have the room or indeed at times the inclination by certain people at least to look after? This is an ongoing breaking news story, and as ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.